Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're taking a look today at a microscope. This is the Micro Direct from Celestron, and it outputs its imagery at 1080p at 30 frames per second. And we're going to be taking a closer look at this little microscope and see what you can do with it in just a second. But I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure, this came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. So let's take a closer look now at the hardware. This is a 220x magnification microscope. It goes from 10x to 220. And you can see we've got a leaf in there right now. And this is what that leaf looks like at its maximum magnification. And this is coming over as a video. This is 1080p video. And it looks like there's something crawling on that leaf, actually, as I'm recording this. That's kind of creepy. Uh, so we can see things microscopically that are on this leaf that will need to get out of the studio when I am done shooting here, as you can see. But uh, you're not going to get in close enough at 220 uh, to see everything. So you won't really get to see a lot of the details of cells. But you probably start to make out the borders of the cells here uh, at this particular magnification. But you will need a stronger microscope to see things that are a lot smaller, but still kind of cool as we just saw with the bug crawling around in there to be able to see things that you may not be able to see with your eyes. Now the hardware is very simple to operate here. It is USB powered. There's a USB port here at the top of the uh, microscope. This is an older USB mini connector, but you do get the cable in the box. It goes out to a, a regular USB plug that can be used with any phone charger or uh, you can plug it directly into a computer. If it's plugged into a computer, you can actually use it with some software as well. And I'll show you that a little later in the video. But the image quality out of the HDMI port here is better than what you'll get hooked up to the computer via the USB cable. It is 1080p at 30 frames per second out of the HDMI. It only does 720p at 30 frames per second out of the USB. But you can decide uh, how you might want to get everything going there. The hardware itself costs about $180. Pretty decent little stand here. It can uh, give you some good motion up and down off of the, uh, uh, the base. So if you wanted to get a, a wider angle for example, on the leaf here, I can turn down the magnification and I uh, will switch to my two up view until we get that into focus there. So you can see you've got some uh, range of motion in the magnification. And uh, what you do is get the magnification to where you want it to be. And then you can adjust this dial here to uh, more finely focus the image. It's really nice to get uh, such a big image on screen. In fact, you could, of course, hook this up to a big screen TV or a projector if you're in a classroom environment. You can also get a clean output just by pushing this button here on the side to uh, clear away all of the stuff. And if you want to take a picture, there is a, a picture button here to uh, take a photo, which will write to the SD card slot uh, that is here on the side. And it looks like they accounted for the fact that you have to touch the microscope to take a picture. So if I do go over here to fire off a picture here, you can see that I jostled it when I pushed the button in, but the frame uh, did not get captured until it settled down. So it looks like they built in a slight delay to account for you pushing the button there and the uh, motion that might get picked up in the photo. It also supports time-lapse photos as well. So if you are studying something that is moving at a microscopic level, it'll take a, a bunch of photos that you can then stitch together for a time-lapse video. Now it has a three and a half megapixel sensor. Uh, it will through interpolation give you larger images, but you really won't get any more detail beyond the native uh, 3.5 megapixels. So I'll show you some pictures overlaid here so you can see what the still images look like out of it. But the video quality is exactly what you are seeing right here. I'm moving this leaf now and you can see it interacting at 30 frames per second at 1080p, which I think is awesome, especially for a classroom environment. It's a shame it doesn't go down beyond uh, 220x, but you can certainly get uh, in pretty close to things that uh, kids see every day that they might want to study in closer detail here. So this is now at the full uh, uh, magnification and it's really cool just to be able to have some huge image here that you can manipulate uh, in real time and then when you're ready take a picture really cool stuff and what you can also do here is take the microscope out of its stand and use it handheld so I've got some paper here from my laser printer that was printed out earlier and I can uh, look at the letters very closely to see how the toner got distributed on the page here so there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this thing when uh, you take it out of the stand and my daughter and I were looking at all sorts of stuff around the house with this uh, as I was testing it. Let's take a look now and see what happens when you hook it up to a computer. So here's the software running on my Mac. It's called Portable Capture Pro. I did have to get this from their website. They do give you a disk in the box for Windows, but Mac you have to get over there. One thing I'm noticing with the Mac version here is that it does not go up to 720p. Uh, the best it can do is 640 by 480. So I think Mac users are not going to get 
uh, the full effect here for at least using uh, the Celestron software. But it works just like a webcam when it's plugged in via USB, so you can record it with other applications. So I've got uh, Skype up here right now. I could even make a Skype call with it here, as you can see. Uh, one way on the Mac to work around the limitations of the built-in software uh, is to use QuickTime. So I can go over here to New Movie Recording, and that will bring in the uh, camera at its native 720p resolution over USB, and you can make uh, movies that way using the computer if you want. So pretty cool little product here. I do wish there was more magnification. I think you really need to get around 400x or so to really start uh, making out some of the features of cells, for example. But uh, the fact is you can have a lot of fun with this with a kid for about $180 running around the yard, grabbing leaves off of trees or whatever, and uh, bringing them inside and get a very, very close look at uh, what is going on in the world around you here. So that is the Celestron Micro Direct Microscope. And this is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, John Prawl, William Miller, and Charlie Walden. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.